Okay, this is Dueling Comedians. Every day during the month of October, Tony V and Laugh Track Larry, that's me, will sit down and talk about some of the greatest bands in rock history. It's uh, Tony V and uh, Laugh Track Larry from Dueling Comedians, and we're uh, continuing with Rocktober. Uh, we're keeping rock alive. It's the only uh, religion worth uh, subscribing to, as yeah. far as I'm concerned. Does rock still exist? You know, at least in our memories and in our hearts, Larry. Rock is dead? Long live rock. Uh, dead or alive. Wow. You, you see, see what I did? Yeah. You yeah. led me right into who exactly. we're going to talk about today. Who? Is who? who we're going to talk about. The and who. before we make this a who's on first, we're talking about, in my estimation, one of the greatest bands to ever uh, hit any stage ever. Yeah. The Who. So live, live and in think, studio. In studio, yeah. too. Yeah. I mean, mm -hmm. they, they, they translate. I mean, I think Who's Next really is one of those albums that... that uh, that transformed my life. Is that what the song Teenage Wasteland, Wasteland that's yeah. not called Teenage Wasteland? Yes. I Bob know it. Right. 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 I don't know what that means. Yeah, it's. I think it's some it's kind some of... Some Irish guy? It's, it's an Irish guru, I believe. Really? Yeah. Bar owner? Yeah. Where you, you don't climb to the top of a mountain to meet him. You go into the back room of a pub in Dublin. And yeah. he sits there and tells you everything life's so about. He's like an Irish yeah. job of the hot <laughs> right. in the back in room the back. of a pub. <laughs> right. I right. got it. What now. is the meaning to life? Get me a Guinness and I'll let you know, son. Wow. Yeah, that's how it works, I think. I want to go meet him. Yeah, I'd like to meet Bob O'Reilly too. Absolutely. If he but you know, I think the Who is one of those bands that uh really benefited from the fact that the two main guys, mm -hmm. you know, Pete. Townsend and Roger Daltrey right. really didn't like each other for the, for a long part. And, and so that collaboration, that tension made for great rock shows. Yeah. I you think know. it's good. Yeah, it's great. You need a little you need a little butting heads. Yeah. You know, it, it, it everything by committee can't be it gets watered down. Right. So you need someone to go, that ah, that shit mate. You know, yeah, and then then make it better. And you know, if the Stones had satisfaction, the Who had my generation, my generation, which is one of the best stuttering songs, songs of ever. all time. Yeah, you wonder how the stutter got in there. I don't know. You you know what I mean? If it was if if it was meant to be there, or it just happened, right. they went, "Hey, that's pretty neat." Just John Entwistle's bass on that is so yeah. driving. Yeah, 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 yeah. I like that yeah. one. Yeah, Magic Bus. Yeah. Uh, way overlooked. Yep. You, you know what I mean? And uh, people and try to put us down. Down. Yeah. Wow. Whew, it was yeah. good stuff. Yeah. It was, re it, they really spoke to a generation. Well, and then yeah. once they got into the concept album arena, I mean, Tommy and the, Quadrophenia yeah. just works of art, really. Yeah. I mean, Tommy is, I mean, I, I think Tommy's credited with being the first. Rock, rock opera, opera, you know what yeah. I mean, it, and it had a theme. And and Pete Townsend, for you know, is is a genius in in, in terms of selling a band. Yeah, uh, I think he needed Roger Daltrey because because he know, doesn't sing. So he doesn't good. sing so well, and he's too ugly. Let's be honest, that's too true. ugly to front a band. That's a good point. <laughs> you know what I mean? Make. So they knew what what sold too. Yeah, you know. Yeah, yeah. Those... I wonder if they're kicking themselves for. I hope I die before I get old. I don't know. <laughs> At what point do you say too late? Too late, right? Like, yeah, we we we've old. beat the over. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because now it's just the two of them. They're just left with bitterness. Right, right, right. Because and they still get together because they got they got the dead drummer and then yeah. the bassist died. Yeah. And and I'm telling you, Keith Moon, mm -hmm. for my money, and you can go, John Bonham. You can talk about. Uh, you know, Def Leppard drummers and the drummer from Def Leppard's only got one one arm. arm. Right, that's right. <laughs> which which you give him points. Well, you get points, but it doesn't make it you doesn't, the best. Best, right? It right, right. I but, mean, if there was a really good octopus who could play drums, oh, I would then, I would pay money to see oh, that. Oh, so good. Yeah, that would be good. Yeah, you could have like three or four kits. 
Oh yeah, you know, just all around you and stuff like that round piano. Well, uh, yeah, and sometimes the drummers just go crazy with all uh, millions of drums. Drums, around. right? You're only using three. Yeah, I like to keep it simple. Yeah, you're using your sna well, you're using your snare, your tom tom, your bass, and yeah. and and perhaps the hi hat. Yeah, so, and that's really you can get a get along with that. But Keith Moon made the drums uh, an instrument. Yeah, you, you know what I mean. He was he was just not keeping a backbeat. No, he was he was putting it out front and center, and he was as fucking crazy as a loon. Yes, yes, which was exactly adds to the, right. Yeah. yeah. Now, shortly after, I got the Rolling Stones tattoo, which right. was referenced in a previous episode. See the Rolling Stones uh, episode. So this would have been shortly after I got my driver's license, right? I was playing in the cassette deck. A cassette deck for you young people was a plastic uh, yeah. object and that you had needed tape in it. The pencil to fix it. To fix it. it, right. You could always rewind with the pencil if you had it. It was Who's Next. Who's Next. One of the best rock and roll albums ever. Yeah. I don't know where it falls on the Rolling Stones. And the song playing on the cassette was Going Mobile. Oh, which has a side effect of making young people drive very fast. fast. <laughs> it's 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 a quintessence. Maybe we'll do one episode on driving songs. Yeah, you, you yeah. know what I mean. But yeah, you're right. That going mobile is in what my I'm, defense, right? And I feel as though I have to defend myself right. for getting a ticket for going 130 in a 55. It wow. wasn't just the song. I had just gone to see the Warriors. Oh man! And then the song, and then right fast. That yeah, that's like that's like doing a a line of blow and then shooting a cappuccino. Yeah, a, and an I espresso. mean, I think right. the only reason I saw the stady was I was taking a sip of the beer <laughs> and caught him in the rear view, view mirror. way back in the rear view mirror. <laughs> So I slowed down. Yeah, and we don't remember. Uh, let's just say right now yeah. as a caveat, we don't recommend this behavior to any people listening. Any to sane, pe even yeah. insane people. Yeah, use it. Use these it. as cautionary tales. Correct. We're here to talk about it. You may not be if you if no. you delve into that. So he gave but, me the yeah. ticket, but yeah. he didn't take away the beer. It, it's, it, he was a nice times. guy. Happier times, Larry. Happier yeah, times. Yeah, turns out he knew my dad. You live in a small town, did you? Uh, no, this was on 495, <laughs> not in my town. Right. But uh, Was your dad a cop? He was in the court system. I see. And this guy knew him right. and hated him. Oh, my, that could work against you then. Well, Dad got the ticket to go away, but he was, he not, was happy. not happy. Not happy at all. He said to me, the next car you drive will be one that you own. <laughs> so your car driving privileges are revoked. So I have mixed feelings about, about the, the who. who. I see. <laughs> They were, on one hand, a source of great pleasure. Yes. Yet you have this memory of this incident. Horror. Yeah. Horror. But I will say my favorite album from The Who. Yeah. This may not be popular. Quadrophenia. Really? I love it on the headphones. Yeah. With a little touch of drugs back in I the day. I understand. A little, little but smoke and cigar. The song 515. Oh, yeah. Kiss Phenomenal. 515. Yeah. Out yeah. of my brain yeah. on the 515. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, Love Rain or Me. Oh, my gosh. Which is, I mean, it, it's actually got rain in it. Yeah. I yeah. mean, these were very big songs, you know, a lot of orchestral. It was... Well, yeah, it was their second attempt at the rock opera after Tommy, and it and it had a theme. Yeah, uh, also helped launch Sting's career when they did mm -hmm. when they did the the movie. They did yeah. the movie, Quadrophenia. Yeah, and Sting. I remember that yeah. movie. Remember that? Yeah. yeah, that's good. They also did uh, they did a a, a movie uh, uh, of Tommy as well, where they had Elton John play the pinball wizard and. Uh, uh, who else was in every rock star at the time? Uh, the guy. Peter Frampton. Peter Frampton, who was 
you know, basically the one hit wonder of he, albums. He came alive. He came alive and then he died. Funny thing. I had never even heard, never of, heard of him. Right. And then this live album. Right. So how do you sell huge numbers it, in a live was, album? It was like, huge. It was big. I'll tell you exactly what it was. He popularized the clavichord. Is that what, That's it, what was? it was? That's what it was. Right. The thing you blow into and play. Huh. And then, and then, and then, and then now, that. now, you know that Peter Frampton's dad was David Bowie's art teacher. Did not know that. Yeah. They know each other. Wow. Really? Oh, they knew each other. Yeah. One is dead. One is mostly dead. Peter Frampton's mostly dead. I made that up. I just <laughs> you assume. Know, we don't know. We don't. Please, if you're a huge Frampton fan, we don't know that he's at that store. We yeah. just haven't heard from him in a while. I haven't heard from right. him. Right. No, he doesn't talk to me. Right. So what? which, who album is your? Uh, Live at Leeds. Oh, good one. Live at Leeds. And only for me because... Uh, it was at a pivotal point in my, when I was growing up. Yeah. Uh, you know, where, where I was uh, smoking a little bit of pot and yeah. whatever at the, the time. The weeds. The weeds. And uh, uh, the, the fact that they got so much music into that. Yeah. And it came with like a ton of liner notes yeah. and a book. And you could really, you could feel, uh, you could feel every song in there. And since it's Rocktober, we right. can say that's kind of what's missing nowadays. We used to get the albums. Yes. With all a, the lyrics. And, yes. They had liner notes and they tell you a little bit about the band. Right. There was some great uh, backstage photos. And Exile on Main, Main Street had postcards post inside of it. Oh, that's true. Right, right, uh, right. Or the uh, right. zipper. Right. On. Uh, sticky Fingers. Sticky Fingers. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, I mean, the albums right. were an album art right. is a you loss. Know, I art. often wonder what young people do now when they break up, you know, couples. Mm, yeah. You know, you used to get back together for makeup sex, you know, or to try, you know, because you had a, look, you still got my Sticky Fingers album and I want it, I'm coming over to get it. Uh, but now you just, that's it, I'm, I'm, I'm undownloading every song of yours that I like. I'm not going to share not, my music, music library with, with you. you. Right. And that yeah. you unfriend them and right. send a text. Right. Very yeah. clean Very and clean. easy. Right. Yeah, but in my head, The Who is like the best live band I think I've ever seen. And I've seen them many, many times. More than 10? More than 10. Wow. Yeah. I think the only other person I've seen more than The Who would probably be Springsteen. Mm. And that... And that tops well over 60. Oh, my God. Yeah. I'm a huge Springsteen fan. I hope he may, makes the list. Oh, he'll make the list. You're pretty sure. sure. I'm, I'm almost positive he's going to All right. The list. All right. All right. So uh, that wrapping that one up, uh, Quadrophenia, Tommy, uh, Who's Next, and Live at Leeds. If you, if you want to know anything about the Who, those are your reference points. The quintessential. Quinta, the, the, yes, the quintessential. Hmm. All right. All right. Mm -hmm.